I'm doing a free prize draw, which is pointless because I've already won. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my side of the story. Basically, we attended the Stratford on Avon campervan show in September. We decided we'd do a free raffle. The very first person to turn up was Mel and Kev. Wandering Womble. Wandering Womble. They got tickets one and two. I think we got through about 175, 200 tickets over the weekend. Got back home with, with a bucket, as God is my witness. So Rosie, my daughter, she put her hand in the bucket and she goes, oh, I've got one. I said, okay, read it out. And she goes, Mel. And I said, we can't have that. <laughs> we cannot have that because Mel is a, like an influencer and a YouTuber on the, in campervan world. <laughs> and it's like we've done a free draw and how dodgy does that look that he came first and he got he got the draw to get the camera system fitted and that's just the way that it that's the way that it panned out so mel has got the camera system so to anyone out there thinking this is an insider job i'm telling you it wasn't an insider job blame my daughter she picked mel for first well, i'm very grateful <laughs> So here I am today at Traffic Angel getting CCTV fitted to my van. And they are so efficient, before I could even get my camera out to start filming, Matt is in my van right now, ripping it apart and fitting that system to my van. He's on the ball, this guy, I can tell you. <laughs> so what are we doing, Matt? At the moment, we are fitting a new monitor and fitting the recording unit. He's so keen to get it fitted, he's not even going to look round at the camera. Sorry guys, I don't want to be famous. <laughs> I want to be working in the background. <laughs> he's on it, that's for sure. Look at all the stuff he's brought out here. Literally, the engine's still warm and he's in there working. Actually, I'm going to nip round the other side and have a look see what he's doing. Let's go round here. So here we go, this is what Matt's doing now. He's fitting an internal screen up here. And this is going to replace my reversing camera screen. They're also going to put a new camera in at the back for me as well and two additional cameras outside, one up here, one the other side and a forward facing camera too and this is going to continuously record, is that right That's Matt? right, yeah it can record continuously or for a period of time that you determine, it's always handy. There you go, so not only is it CCTV for security, it's also a driving safety device as well. That's right, that's what we're aiming for. For the trucks, yeah, it's both basically. So evidence in the event of an accident, but also preventing the accident from happening in the first place, which is obviously preferable to having to look at the footage if there is an accident. Yeah. So yeah, covering all the blind spots, obviously, which are much, much worse on a truck is a major priority for a lot of fleets at the moment. So anything we can do to minimise that, you know, in addition to all the mirrors and lights and other things they've got fitted. Um, yeah, we found quite a lot of fleets of so you fit a lot of these to HGVs? Yeah, that's predominantly HGV, HGVs, yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're hey. doing a load for a, a waste recycling company in Birmingham at the moment. Well, it makes perfect sense to do that. I mean, I used to drive HGV and it was a real pain, especially it's cyclists to come up business. the inside. Yeah. <laughs> I used to drive a lot of trucks around London and yeah, I had a few near misses. There's, yeah. um, there's a great video that uh, I think it was um, TFL posted online. I'll see if I can find it at some point where you're sitting in, it shows you the driver's eye view, sitting in the cab, looks left, looks right, nothing. Steps out of the driver's seat and walks around to the near side of the vehicle. And there's a whole line of cyclists going right the way back down the vehicle that <laughs> you just can't see in the mirrors. So that's part of what kind of triggered the whole push for safety equipment that's happened yeah. in the last few years. And it's now sort of mandatory, you know. Well, I'm gonna leave Matt alone now and let him carry on doing what he's doing. <laughs> it looks really complicated. So this is Steve, he's the founder of Traffic Angel and they're a little bit short staffed today so he's up the ladder installing my reversing camera for me. But when he's finished, we don't want to disturb him, we'll have a little chat with him in a minute and we'll talk about how I ended up winning this prestigious prize. So Steve has finished fitting me reversing camera. Now Steve's a little bit worried that people are going to think it's a fix. After all, I'm a famous YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'll let Steve tell you how this all come about because like I say he's a little bit worried so I'll let you explain <laughs> what happened. Well, I'm not worried but if I don't put my side of the story it enough going to look dodgy <laughs> so this is my side of the story. Basically we attended the uh, Stratford on Avon campervan show in September and uh, we decided we'd do a free raffle and on setting up 
who should turn up. The very first person to turn up was Mel and also who? Kev. And Kev. Wandering Womble. Wandering Womble. So in the free raffle, Mel and Wandering Womble, they got tickets one and two, okay? So anyway, we I think we got through about 175, 200 tickets over the weekend. Free draw. And uh, got back home. <laughs> I, as God is my witness, okay? Got back home with, with a bucket and MJ and me, we said, right, we've got to do this fair. So my daughter and my wife were in the front room. So we got back and I got the bucket out and I said, okay, Rosie, we're going to draw first and we're going to draw second and third, one, two and three. So Rosie, my daughter, she put her hand in the bucket and she goes, oh, I've got one. And so I said, okay, read it out. And she goes, Mel. And I said, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't, but no, that is the draw. We cannot have that because Mel is a, like an influencer and a YouTuber on, in Campervan world. And it's like, <laughs> we've done a free draw. And how dodgy does that look that he came first and he got, he got the draw to get the camera system fitted. But I said, no, maybe that's the way that it is. That's the way it's going to pan out. If Mel gets lots of views, fantastic and that's just the way that it that's the way that it panned out so mel has got the camera system so to anyone out there thinking this is an insider job i'm telling you it wasn't an insider job blame my daughter she picked mel for first well, i'm very <laughs> grateful <laughs> and that's why in my phone i've got him down as jammy mel jammy mel yes as well he's got me listed in his phone as jammy mel <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that's steve and the company name is Traffic Angel. Yeah. This install, right? Yeah. It doesn't look like a DIY job to me, looking at all the wires he's going through there. Is it a DIY job? Could, could you supply this to someone and they do it themselves, or do they have to come here and get it installed? Um, what I've learnt, uh, particularly when going to the Stratford on Avon camper van show, yeah. is that camper vans are the drivers extension of their heart and soul yeah and a lot of drivers they know their vans so if you know your van and you you're good at repairs and you've installed your own sat nav or you've installed your own water system installed a uh, plumbing and heating etc etc you could do this it's not it's not a difficult job the kit comes with install guides it's just plugging it's all plug and play but whenever I do a product review, people always comment and criticise me for not giving a price. Yeah. So, my question is, what would this have cost me if I was to, had to have paid for it? What's the value of my prize? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. How can we do this? Because I just need to add up what it is that Mel's got and just go upstairs and ask, because that's not my... That's okay. Not my, but but um, we'll come back to that. And maybe in a couple of minutes. Well, okay, brilliant. We'll okay. look forward to that. We'll, we'll let you know what it would have cost at the end of this video, so make sure you watch to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay. You're an absolute gentleman. Now, remember me saying that this is no DIY task. This is why. Just take a look at all these wires Matt is getting his way through. <laughs> There's a few wires there. Spaghetti junction. <laughs> it is exactly that. <laughs> all the colours of the rainbow. Pretty much is. There's a rainbow of wires coming out of my van right now. And don't forget, it's not only the wiring, there's all the technical stuff behind this as well, like connecting it up to Wi-Fi. And then, is it an app on my phone I need? Yes. Yep. Yes, I've got to put an app on my phone as well, and then try and connect that to that, which is where I failed on the last system that I had. I just could not figure it out. But I guess that's why they call it Traffic Angel. So, Steve, tell us what we've got. Okay, so we've got the uh, offside camera up here that gives a nice wide angle and it is incredible the amount you can see yeah. from this tiny little camera yes all the way down here and all the way to the back here. yeah it does it covers it all yeah. i'm really i'm just amazed at the wide angle of this lens it's far better than my camera lens that's for sure <laughs> and uh inside we've got the screen, the diddy little front camera, see it there, tiny little thing. So we've got two of these cameras, one each side obviously, and one facing front. Also Steve has given me another reversing camera. 
Just about to see it way up there. There we go, another camera up there. That camera, from that camera you can literally see the front wing all the way to the back light. Because they've got little monster, I've asked for an internal camera. So we've got an internal camera up here. So what we've done is we've got a little switching system. There's a little switch here. On off switch. So when Mel goes out on into town and leaves the vehicle parked up, all you do is you switch this on. This will turn this internal camera on and shut off the front camera because uh, that, that way you can keep four channels for your DVR and not go up to an eight channel DVR because yeah. essentially we've got five cameras. So when you come back in to the van and you're just doing your, your say your, your road trip or whatever, you just switch that off and then the internal camera stops ca uh, recording and you're back, to your four, you're back to your forward facing near side, off side and rear. Brilliant. Okay, so basically what we're looking at is the reverse, the rear view, just to scroll through. That's the near side view. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. That's the offside view, and I'll just shut. I'll shut the, the door. And you better see. Yeah. You see right down the side of the van. Look at that. There you are. You can always right back there. Just show you where he is. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, That's okay. great. And then the split view. What's useful with the split view? Um, is that you can instantly check that all four cameras are working yeah. before you go out on the journey. Because if you get a blanked out screen, you know that one of the cameras are oh, working. Right, yeah. and when I do flick the switch to start recording inside, the dash cam will still carry on recording what's going on at the front of my van. So I'll still be covered, it's just that the front camera on the Road Angel system won't be recording, the internal camera will be recording instead. So we can keep an eye on Monster when we're away from the van. Uh, so yeah, so cost. <laughs> cost. So yeah, go ahead. How much, okay. is, it, how so, much is it going to cost? <laughs> okay, so for all of that, so it's 1187 uh, plus VAT. Uh, but we've had a chin wagon uh, up in the office and if you buy, if, you want, if you're interested in the kit and you want to get it through and you quote big van small world we'll give a 15 percent discount on that oh on there that. you go thank you mate that's really good yeah. of you yeah, that's yeah. Okay. thank you I'll, I'll put details and links to steve's website in the description of this video yeah. so if you do contact steve and you want a similar system to this then just quote big van small world and they'll give yeah. you 15 percent off so it works out at roughly it's around a couple of hundred quid off yeah so, so you're looking at well, it's almost a vat isn't it yeah that's, that's the system and uh, we'd be delighted to hear from any of your viewers um, just give us a yeah. call and uh, the numbers on the on the van here yep got it there and your website of course as yeah. well yeah. so there you go if you're interested in van security then make sure you give Steve a call or look him up on the internet there's his website right there thank you Steve it's an absolute pleasure no cheers. cheers cheers buddy <laughs>